Hey everyone, this is Dusko Makastag Gamer, and this game here is Cold Fear. Now, to be honest, I'm kind of blind on this game, but I'm very well aware this is a game that came out on the heels of Resident Evil 4. As such, it takes a lot of inspiration from the game in question, both from old Resident Evil titles though and Resident Evil 4. It's a cult title these days though, because apparently it's a pretty good blend of both action horror and survival horror. The old school survival horror matched together with the more you know, old uh, action -y horror which came out later. We're gonna go straight to screen configuration just to make sure everything's all good. Uh, let's go for a big resolution. Yep. All right. We'll accept everything and get started. Actually, let me change one more thing about screen configuration. Why is brightness all? Oh, okay. Let's go back. That looks good though, let's just accept and get straight off the bat with a new game and start off with Cold Fear. Alright, for intents and purposes, I'm going to be playing this on the hard difficulty, so let's go straight into this. Talk to me. What's going on? I'm not getting anything here. Marcus, Law, do you hear me? Come on, somebody answer me. Is anybody alive out there? Come in. Get me another asset up there, Pronto. Anything we've got. Anything. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. This is the USS Ravenswood. We arrived in the vicinity of the vessel and will now initiate a search patrol and look for it. Ravenswood, out. There's only three stars members left now. Now, okay, here we go. Okay, people, you know your assignments. Hanson, you've got main deck port side. Watch yourself. You're going solo. How come Hanson gets all the fun? Because he's prettier than you are, DeSantos. Now cut the chatter. This place is creeping me out. Where is everyone? Steady, Friedman. Remember, I've got that extraction code in case things get hairy. Morning party, this is the Ravenswood. These are too rough. We're gonna have to head back. You're on your own, people. You heard the man. Keep it tight. All right. Did you hear that? Hear what? What's that smell? These old Russian whalers all stink to high heaven. What's that? Open fire! Open fire! Holy shit! Ah! I'm falling back. Reform on my position. I repeat, reform here. Lieutenant Lansing, come in. Come in. Okay, so I just want to make a random comment. First of all, I love how this guy's body is shifting with the boat. I will say this game was a low budget game. However, though, it, I've heard it does a surprisingly good job with its low budget. Uh, second of all, because people here are talking about there was a movie based off this game. I don't think there was. I think it's just that this game took inspiration from several movies. Uh, anyways, you can see uh, this game kind of has fixed camera angle sort of element to it as you walk around. However, though, when you aim, it goes into like a Resident Evil 4 style aiming system. Oh, when I'm held like this, I can also aim and shoot like this if I really want to. Whoa. Um, 
I really don't need to do that. There's something to read right here, though. A note about ammunition conservation, okay? Due to the platform's regular supplies, we must conserve our ammunitions and med kits as much as possible. Therefore, live ammo training is now suspended pending new orders. In a combat situation, it is vital that all soldiers look to their downward down comrades as potential sources of ammo or med kits. In the same interest of economy, use body searches when really necessary. Use the butt of your rifle in close combat situations. Alright, do I press down? There we go. You will be in, uh, you'll be enable, uh, this will enable you to gain the necessary distance to adjust your aim. Some of the opponents will attempt to immobilize you. Do not simply empty your clips, strike out and get at them to free yourself and shoot at point blank range. This is generally highly effective. And it's Chenko, whoever the hell this guy is. Regardless, we've learned things about files. Let's get back to the game and start doing our horror journey. It starts off with kind of an action set piece apparently, as we go along the sidelines of the boat. Is there a run button in this game? I kind of just need to check my controls for a second. Let's see. Is this options? I uh, know I don't want to leave the game. The one problem is that they, due to how I'm streaming this, I cannot see like the top left hand corner of the screen. As such, I'm kind of lost when it comes to things like that. I don't think I can pause like this. Cool. Ah, uh, well, I'll figure out to see this run button later. Uh, regardless. All I do know is. <laughs> that the rain effect is actually kind of nice and um, again this game takes a lot of inspiration from the older Resident Evil games this game uh, came out after the popularity of Resident Evil 4 and as such this whole game is pretty inspired by it is this gonna actually hurt me I'm, I probably shouldn't try this but well this hit me in the face yeah I'll hurt you holy hell it actually took off more than half my life uh, maybe I should restart <laughs> I was just curious oh that thing will apparently almost kill you. I should probably be careful around. <laughs> Fuck, I already wasted uh, valuable healing supplies. Uh, we're right now looking around for a radio code, so... Fakes camera angles, ahoy! Is this where I started? Yeah, I believe it is, so uh, let's go back this way. Hmm, all I know is I'm a stalking you. I'm not going to keep my gun pulled out right now, because I can just pull it out like this, which is probably the better combat method, to aim effectively at enemies' weak points. Uh, let's avoid this motherfucking thing. Alright. I am just going to try and make it up to that uh, bridge right above us. I don't know where the radio code is, and I'm trying to figure out if there's a run button in this game right now. On account of the fact that I should have probably looked that up before I started playing. I was going to assume for now there is none and make my way upward. It'll probably teach me how to run if I need to know anyways. There is something right in here though. Alright. In the cold, deep rages of this ship. There's something here? Pistol ammo. Cool. Uh, our inventory is... Uh, do we have... I'm just clicking buttons right now to figure out controls. You can turn around pretty quickly just by pressing behind you like that. Um, whenever there's something to interact with, you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner thing that says interact. Uh, right now we're still looking for radio codes. So I guess that all that was in here was that uh, flipping ammo thing. So back out we go. I'm going to try and cross this direction. Wait. Apparently I see something. Lifeboat. Got it. Wait, there's a body here. Health pack. That feels good. So you use health packs apparently automatically in this game. And I'm gonna try not to get mauled by another fucking floating thing, because apparently getting hit by things does in fact hurt quite a bit, actually. And there's something over there that's on fire, so would that hurt more than something that's not on fire? Guess I'd have to try to find out, but I'd rather not try at all. Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, we need to find the radio codes to open up these doors with the little red signals next to them. So the question comes what Fuck me! Oh, you know what? You know what? Just fucking kill me. Fucking kill me. I take your death with open arms. Oh, he's had so much health on that. Not to mention else to see the missing in action. Yeah, that's totally not trying to rip off the Resident Evil You Are Dead thing. 
All right, can we load game? No cold fish safety. Okay, we're gonna skip the opening cutscene. We're gonna fucking do this. Thankfully, you can skip cutscenes in this game. Okay, people, you know your assignments. Hansen, you Pick got that up. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I know what that Watch says. Yourself. So. You're going solo. How come Hansen gets all the fun? Because he's prettier than you are, DeSantos. Not cut the chatter. This place is creeping me out. Where is everyone? Alright. Remember, I've got that extraction code in case things get hairy. Morning party, this is the Ravenswood. The seas are too rough. We're gonna have to head back. You're on your own, people. You heard the man. Keep it tight. Did you hear that? Hear what? What's that smell? These old Russian whalers all stink to high heaven. What's that? Open fire! Open fire! So if I was a secret radio code, where would I be hiding? No, that's not a ladder. I'm not gonna go back to the beginning either. So uh, let's keep our eyes open. I will get that pistol ammo because I know where that is, but I don't think the radio code's up here unless there's something I'm missing. The camera did focus on something earlier. I wonder if that's supposed to signify something. I mean, I very much doubt that the radio, the codes open those doors are like in this general direction, out in the like big rainy area, it would probably be inside something. Now if it's inside this building or not is another discussion entirely, but I guess I'll try. Tank controls for the win. Deep in the mass of the ship, pistol ammo. There was actually something right outside the window. I didn't see that last time. Now I did. That's all that's in here though, so back how we go. Rear deck. You know, honestly, I kind of like how. Uh, direction. Damn. Alright, so honest question. Let's go down. Is there something around here which might hold a radio code of any sorts? Well, that's not a body. Half our health, all the storminess going on everywhere. Maybe the code... No, wait, that's burning over there. And the waves are too strong over that direction. I already checked that bridge over there. Okay, I'm going to check the side of the ship. Going to avoid the flaming disaster over there. Actually, is that a door over there? I don't know. I'm guessing that the code would be indoors if it was anywhere. But I don't actually see anything. Well, here's something. I'm fully loaded with this ammo. Oh, it's ammo in case that was didn't have enough, apparently. Can I break through windows? No. If you guys spot something that sticks out, just holler at me. At this point, I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe back here? Was there a shadow of something there? Or am I crazy? Uh, regardless. Radio codes. There aren't over there because that's where I need to go. Hmm. Maybe back here? No. Let's check the other side of the ship. I think I've checked this side enough. Maybe there's something that's hidden over on this deep dark part of the ship. Yeah, there's a ladder over there. Let's watch out for this thing because this thing can't hurt us a lot as we've discovered. But, uh, let's go down to the bowls of this ship. Here we go, this is something new. Well, the deck is really rolling. One wrong move and that could end up seafood. I think Sway said something like that. I didn't know about the seafood part. I'm not even gonna hit those chains, because I've got my bad feeling those will even hurt me. What the hell? Is that actually an enemy? Ah, hell! Did I, did I die? Well, I know where I'm going this time, but holy hell, it's hard difficulty hard in this. He shot me like, what, two times? 
Okay, maybe I, I know I'm gonna continue trying to do hard difficulty because I haven't figured out the whole extent of the game, but wow, things hurt you a stupid amount on hard difficulty. Okay, people, you know your assignments. I wasn't sure if that guy was like my friend or not. So I was like, is that my friend? I know it was some sort of enemy. Let's get Stanson. This place is creeping me out. Where is everyone? When it comes to lag, uh, this is something by the method that we're recording. The reason why this will not lag for everyone, but if you don't have a fantastic internet connection, it might lag a little bit for you. It's being caused by the way I'm uh, having to stream this. There's no other way to stream this game, though. It's a direct game feed as opposed to it being a window desktop capture. Which takes up more processing power. However, though that said, there should be no lag. So if it's lagging, it's probably on your end. Steady, Friedman. Remember, this way we go. I'll wait for this thing to pass this way. So this time I'm gonna shoot this guy before he turns around and shoots me. Since I could have actually shot him, but I didn't know I was supposed to shoot this guy. So let's move to the depths of this ship. This time he died automatically. No luck. What the fucking hell? Ah, oh, jeez! Oh, that only hurts you a little bit. Why, was that guy scripted to die before and he just didn't, or was I just lucky this time? A lot of blood back here. These Russian boats aren't exactly built the same as ours are. I better read the inscription so that I don't get lost. Let's see how much of my Russian I still remember. Well, that's one way to unlock a door. Oh wait, that was me walking to a fire? Ah, oh, this game. <laughs> it's like a kill combination so far. How many ways can I die? Alright. We're not giving up on hard though. I didn't see there was a fire behind me. I like this. You're going solo. How come Hansen gets all the fun? Because he's prettier than you are to Santos. I wish there was a run button. Probably is. Next time I die, if I die again, I'm going to fucking look to see if there's a run button. Remember, I've got that extraction code in case things get hairy. Morning party, this is the Ravenswood. The seas are too rough. We're gonna have to head back. You're on your own, people. You heard the man. Keep it tight. Go this way. What's that smell? These old Russian whalers all stink to high heaven. Let's go through. We're taking it on though. Reform on my position. I repeat, reform here. Lieutenant Lansing, come in, come in. Like everything that moves hurts you, so I'm trying to be careful. Or this guy, yeah, he didn't die this time. Oh, uh, now he died. Got some pistol ammo. That's how the world works. That's not my even the boy getting hurt. All right. When I get here, is there a save game thing? Can you guys tell me in the upper left hand corner there's a save game because I can literally the menu options are blocked by what I cannot see here. 
I literally cannot see anything here. Is there a save game thing or no? It's probably like the old Resident Evil games though, and you have to save uh, on some object or something. Roads aren't exactly built the same way ours are. I better read the inscriptions so that I don't get okay. lost. Let's see how much of my Russian I still remember. Uh, uh, uh. Bullets are all on this. Check the body. Pistol ammo. Well, that's a fire out. Nothing on him. That's a darn shame. You literally died for nothing, son. Alright. It's on the right side. This looks nicer. I like it when it's not all... Oh, there's a door there. I'll come back here. Her and I'm just kind of exploring everything. There are several doors here, though. And they're all actually open. Wait, wait, wait. I heard an enemy reloading. Let's start in here and work our way across. Well, it sounds like something or another is bloody. Like everything's literally bloody, but something is particularly bloody. Does that guy have a dolphin snout for a mouth? You aren't gonna comment on that? You don't think this dolphin snout guy is kind of suspicious? Seriously, look at this guy. He has a fucking dolphin snout for a mouth. And webbed feet and hands. You're not going to comment that's kind of weird. Meowie. Maybe where he comes from, everyone has dolphin snouts and feet. Nothing else it looks like. So, yeah. Yeah, there's some kind of enemy in here. From his homeland, Lessa. <laughs> I was a little bit too quick on the draw there, buddy. Where the fuck was his body going? Pistol ammo. I don't even know how to reload in this game. It's not R. You would think it is. Alright, well, anyways, though. Something back here. No, what's on his body? Pistol ammo. Well. Took care of another random Russian guy. Let's uh head on out. Yay, America! Fuck yeah! No, I'm, I'm I'm kidding. The camera angles. Man, I guess gotta walk this way to the door. Let the rain fall down. I wonder. No, there's no wet hair physics. This is an old 2005 game, I guess. Oh. I've got to find that code. Oh, we need a code. All right, how about here? This is another very dark room with a non-completely suspicious amount of blood. Doesn't sound like there's anything in here at all. Damn. Why is he shooting in the head? I don't like the fact that I can't aim on him. Okay, good. That makes it feel a little bit better. <laughs> hmm, what is this behind me? Can't say there's too much here. Uh, is there a door? No, there, yeah, there is a door back here. No, that's not a door. It's fucking dark as hell in here. That's all I know. And I don't see much usefulness in here. Saw that one suspicious guy, but I think he's better off now. We're out.
Now, oh yeah, there's something here. There's another door right here I'm going to uh, check out. Alright, there's actually a locked door here, cool. Uh, which case, I guess I'm going the way I thought I had to go. The area that was on fire previously, but is no longer. Ooh, there's another shiny note over here. Know about electric boxes. Uh, how do I get to the note section? Uh, which one of these is notes? Mission. There we go. Know about uh, electric boxes. Certificate of death named Capolier Lege caused the death electrocution. Details. According to witnesses, Corporal Lege had been misplaced uh, to misplace his electronic key while on duty. Unable to reach his official post, he promptly fired at the electrical control box on door 114, causing it to explode. Exposed live wiring subsequently came into contact with a pool of water on the floor. The door opened, however, CPL Lege was electrocuted. No follow up necessary, so be careful of electrocution because everything's uh, watery right now. I should probably be careful too. Alright. Guess I'll check this door next. Gotta check all the doors. This goes up someplace. Hello, cat people of this ship. I am here to rescue you with my handsome blonde hair. Someone wanna flow their hands through it, it'll make a dramatic effect. There's a medical ward. Let me first check this door. Great, it's locked. How about you? This one's open. I don't like these people. I want to make sure I take out the head. Pistol ammo. Oh boy. A page from you pays a diary. Let's uh, read the diary page then. Diary, I think, is right here. Yep. Our first encounters with the creatures we now call the Exocells came roughly two months after drilling command on the Star of Sakahe's platform. In fact, I was already familiar with this platform. We used to use it as a port of calling when patrolling these hostile waters, and I was determined it would again be deployed as a part of our international operations. Whilst drilling had effectively stopped some years before, this was not because the rig was unprofitable. Quite the contrary. It was because the spare parts often needed were simply never delivered. The Russian state's private partners grew wary of the whole affair. All I had to do was wait a couple of years to repurchase it for scrap. At first, the cartel was skeptical about the new operation's success, but and I made the necessary let's go down. I made the necessary investments for its rec recommissioning myself. The communication jammer, the plans for which had been provided by for former Red Army brain Sir Guy Astrian, was more remarkably effective, as far as international ears were concerned. Whether listening in on Earth or from space, there was nothing there but in hospital ocean and the odd iceberg. For the first 25 days, Jalen was successful as expected. And then, even though our sonars confirmed, confirmed the presence of a huge oil reserve, the, res uh, the pressure started to drop. Suddenly, the drill brought up several exocells, and... Uh, Ennis Cheko and his men had great difficulty in overcoming. Two days later, we noticed more specimens crawling up the platform's columns. I immediately gave Ennis Cheko orders to capture some of them. That's when I saw my first contamination. So obviously, something or another is going here. You, I don't know how to reload in this game, or else I would. But I'll reload because I got 42 bullets total. It's just, yeah. I... Nothing on them, you say? Nothing through here either. So I'm sure by this point you guys are starting to see where the old, uh, how this game was really inspired by both the older Resident Evil games and Resident Evil 4. It's kind of shoddier in some ways, but it's also because, you know, it's, it is what it is. It is going to be open. Yep. Look at this fixed camera angle. Alright, gonna go this way. Look at that blood. That blood is amazing. Uh, let's see what's in here. I better watch how much I'm using. I ain't got an unlimited supply. Oh yeah, there we go. There's his warning, so be careful. Actually, I probably shouldn't have wasted that kind of thing of it either. Whatever the case, I did. Hopefully, I'll be okay what in the game. What kind of ship is this? I'm gonna need an electronic key to open this sucker up. Yep, as expected. That door's locked. So, back downstairs I go. Where will I stop? The world doesn't even know. F for reload? Yep. Uh, R isn't reloading, but F is. 
Does anyone know if there's a sprinting button in this game? I've been trying to figure that out. Let's get down here. I guess down to the sunken part of the ship. Yeah, this is gonna go great, right? There's a shiny over there. Look at this beautiful water effects, though. There's too much water pressure. I can't open the door. That's fair. It's kind of what I was expecting too. Coming back here. I have to make sure. Upper deck key. Pistol ammo. Too much water pressure. Oh boy, I better shoot this electrical box while I'm in the water. Nah, of course not. Uh, how about this area right here? Is this area not pressured to open? Let's find out. Gotta find a handle to stick back on this door. All the door puzzles. If there's anything that one knows about Resident Evil games, it's door puzzles. Yep, upward we go. Oh, that's my shadow. So, an upper deck key. Would that be used? I'm just gonna check all the locked doors and see if there's anything I can use. Because it might mean when, like, there's a locked door up here, so maybe it's for up here? Hmm. I think this door was locked. Great, it's locked. <laughs> I opened that earlier. Locked. I'm gonna have to find out if doors open automatically, or if I have to use an item on something. Ay ay ay! Back down. Hip hip. Alright, maybe it's one of the doors over here, except now zombies everywhere. Are one of you guys a locked door today? I think you were locked, right? Great, it's locked. <laughs> I didn't follow that. Maybe you? I've got to find that code. You good, you got a headshot on you. You know, I've got a really bad feeling. There we go. Give me a moment. In freeze, I paused. I told you guys. I was talking to someone. <clears throat> now then. Oh, we're in out. Again. But since the bodies stay here. I've got a bad feeling about that, that's why I'm shooting off all their heads. Now, do I have to use items automatically in this game? And if so, where are items on this menu? This key opens the upper deck, which leads to the radio room and the bow. Maybe that's, uh, let me check over here. So there is an item part of this. But it looks like items are used automatically like that. So, let's go this way. I have my feelings that it's actually that big door. So let's check that. I mean, I think that I've got this bad feeling about the fact that the bodies all seem to stay there, so yeah, I'm gonna shoot off all their heads. It's unlocked. I, it was of course for the one door I didn't check. Really loud in here. In two different directions to go. Let's start with this door. 
Не подходи! Давай! I am good at getting headshots in this game, holy hell. Like, I'm surprised how good I am at getting doing this now. Make sure no bodies are left with heads. Pistol ammo. Nothing found. Yep, yeah, I'm good at this. Nothing new. You lost your head. Yep. All of the heads will be lost. Oh, just as an experiment, because I get a lot of ammo from these things. Can I show off your arm, for example? Nope. Now let me check your body for anything. Can't, can I? That's a shame. You actually reload with your pistol very quickly in this game. Nothing on this side of the ship, though that would look like a very lovely place to eat something if you were, like, just relaxing. I'm just trying to imagine this as a living cruise ship, and I can actually see it, which is a good thing. They seem to have done the research of how this stuff sort of works. I also just noticed since I stepped on blood and leaving around bloody footprints. Let's try this door. Totally not suspicious. No sign right here, though. Seems like it's. Haha, oh. <laughs> that did startle me. Already messing his head, so I'm good. Alright. Nothing around corners. Right. Kind of just making sure there's nothing else around here. I like he doesn't really comment on anything. He just goes through life just one step at a time. There's two doors here. What's this one? Outside. Oh, there's enemies over there. Took me like a second to realize that. There we go, let's get this. Pistol ammo, and there should be a note. Know about barrels. Alright, uh, let's read our know about barrels, I guess. Gotta learn about barrels every day. The standard regulations for storage of explosive chemicals are not being followed, neither on our supply ships nor on the drilling platform itself. I haven't even seen barrels lying about that are not tied down. I ask you to exercise your authority to remedy the situation. I know that these barrels can be extremely effective against our enemies. Therefore, even if it means using them as weapons, I would prefer to decide on their positions with you. I will ensure that my men use them wisely. Alright, so yeah, explosive barrels. Who knew? A game with barrels that explode? What controversy? Let me guess, this guy's standing right next to you. Holy hell, I'm good at aiming in this game. Like, stupidly good. It must be down there. I am stupidly good at aiming in this game. If I'll be completely honest. Oh, hello, someone here. There's someone else, someone else here. Alright, anything on you? Health pack, that feels good. I feeling good. I also like how he covers his face in the heavy rain. Little details that make everything come alive. Holy hell, what the hell happened to him? Pistol ammo, of course. Alright, anything else around here which I need? Or is that just an enemy shootout for the sake of an enemy shootout? Seems like it was an enemy shit just for the sake of oh, who are you? That's not human. Still gonna lose his head though. Nothing gets out with anything. Pistol ammo. And nothing. Cool. <clears throat> Always worth the spare bullet to make sure something comes out not without a head. Now you. Did you have your head? Because I can't really tell based on the angle in which you died. 
It looks like you don't, though, so I'm going to assume that you do not. Now, is there anything valuable here besides that? No. So, backwards we go. I love how he slips back and forth and outside the ship. Look at him go. Do, 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 do. It's so amusing for me just to watch him go back and forth and ship rocks back and forth. Just my opinion. Anyways, though, I guess back indoors we go. Did he really just do that? Like, really? <laughs> what a genius, right? What the fucking hell? All burned. That's how it works when you fucking charge through. Anyways, though. <clears throat> so there was the. <laughs> I, I, I think. I'm not gonna make that joke. Anyways, though, let's just go over this direction. There's another door here. He wasn't exactly the brightest of the bunch. <laughs> what the hell is that? Good question. Shoot off its head. <laughs> I think I did good. No question, shoot it in the head. This is fucking Leon S. Kennedy's final pieces of ice. You love this. Do you have a head? Yes, you do. Pistol ammo, even. Hit, hit. Nothing really checking here outside of enemies and whatever else. I mean, now. Well, actually, is there anything inside here? Nothing but a nice hot bat, actually. I can check him through the wall, but there's nothing useful on him. Oh, you can actually turn the showers on. Haha! <laughs> That's kind of amusing, I'll be honest. Can you push the toilet? No. You could turn the showers on. Thusly, my life is complete. Outward. Just gotta give that guy a nice cold shower. For a second, I thought that was a giant. Oh, what? What is? Ever was bouncing above my head. That was a giant eye watching me. I was like, "What?" No, it's just whatever the hell that is. Captain's quarters. Locked. Of course, it's locked. It's the captain's quarters. That kind of makes sense. So, let's get back into our journey. Gotta go all fixed camera angles and everything. Ignore all the doors and get on our way backwards up the stairs that we got to earlier. You say you want to go up some stairs? I say I do too. What do you guys think will be at the top of these stairs? If your answer was doors, you'd be right. Okay, left or right first? Left is in Russian. Right says something in Russian. So left or right, guys? Left, right, left, right, left, right, right, down, down, Q, Q, Q. Actually, what is it? Choo, choo, choo. That's the Space Channel 5 thing. And by left and right, I mean that this is left. This is, Actually, I think this way is blocked. Great. It's locked. Yeah, never mind. We have to go to the left anyways. You guys are saying left, but you're right. Left is the way we have to go anyway. Tire away! No, okay. Uh, let's head out this way. Never know what we might find. Also, how the hell do you save in this game? I just physically realized that if I die, I'm probably gonna be dead for good because I haven't saved yet. And I do not want to fucking lose all this progress. So how the flippin' hell do you save in this game? this area really abandoned? I'm guessing those are explosive barrels, so I should be probably a bit careful. I haven't got the right weapon for this ammo. 
Alright, so I guess I'm gonna have to find the right weapon for this ammo. A rouge like game. Maybe there's no save points on hard difficulty. I don't flippin' know. I don't know, how, how would you save stay in this game, though? Going through here. But I was just thinking about it, I was like, wait a second, I haven't even fucking saved in this game, have I? If I die, I'd have to start all over. I mean, is there anyone who actually knows the answer to this? I don't know how you're supposed to save in this game. Just kind of checking everything. See, I would have missed this med pack otherwise. I'll keep that med pack there for the moment. It sounds like I predict I might be coming back down, but I would have missed it and not known it was there if I didn't check. Onward and upward, I guess. Like, Hunk, is that a serious answer or what? I'm on top of the world! I'm gonna check something. Web browser. Cold fear... Fear save. Wait, here we go. Save point system. Save. You can't save at all in Cold Fear. You have to wait till the game prompts with the option. It's been next save prompt. It's difficult. Sometimes you'll be asked to save about two minutes after the last save, and uh, other times you'll progress for hours for reaching another save spot. Of course, there are no checkpoints either, so if you die, you have no choice but to reload the save. Okay. I'll take it. Second. If I die in the game, I die in real life. That's exactly what it is, Neko. I have to beat this game and I can't lose or else I die for real. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, going on down. <laughs> A nest? What the fuck was that thing I just popped by? It just said nest randomly. Now, can't go down through here. I think the area to go down was right over, yeah, it's right over there. There's a med pack up there, which I'm gonna leave at the moment, because I'm all in decent health at the moment, so I could be a worse off. I hope I get a save point soon, though. It's kind of stupid, if I'll be honest. Gosh, shoot everybody in the head. It's been predetermined. I'll take all the pistol ammo. Back here is a whole lot of nothing. Except good times. Actually, there's a door there. But that door is locked, of course. What else did you guys expect? Something to work on this ship? <laughs> a lot of ammo for this gun I don't have as well, I should mention. Back up I go then. Hmm. I don't think I can interact with this. So I don't, is this where I'm supposed, I think this is where I'm supposed to be going, but... Do I have any items at the moment? Nope, I don't have any items.
The enemies by is having disappeared in this game. I went back to a hallway where I previously was, and all the enemies by is still there. However, at this moment, I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Down here, this maybe. Looks like the wrong way. Oh yeah, thank you for telling me bluntly that I'm wrong. But okay, I guess bluntness is sometimes uh, terribleness, because at least he told me. Now work. I know, the rain effects in this game aren't bad at all, I'm actually, I kinda like them. Am I supposed to go down here? This looks like the wrong way. No, fuck, yeah, okay. This looks like the wrong way, trust me, I'm an expert. I know exactly what I'm talking about. That's locked though. I know, great, it's locked. Hip hip. I guess there is ammo here though, for a gun I don't have, so maybe I'm not actually supposed to be here yet. That means, where am I supposed to go? I don't think I have a map in this game. Alright, we go upward. The rain effects are nice, and the fact that that, like, well, watch this. If I have my camera point this way to the rain, the rain goes to the left. If I point forward, the rain goes down on the screen. If I have the camera point this way, the rain goes to the right. If I have it backwards, there is no rain on the camera. See? It's actually a subtle, but very well done effect, in my opinion. Interaction. It's a well done shader, though, Miss Emma. Locked. I know it's locked. Where the and by the way, just to prove my point about the enemies. I uh, actually this one has disappeared, so maybe you're right. The blood's still there from when I killed them. Like, that was a cutting kill. That wasn't me actually killing them. I guess the easiest way to tell being here is there's enemies in here. See, all the enemies are still there. Even save thy headshot, all of them. All their bodies just having good time. I feel like I'm missing something, though. Oh, Baney. You think it's up there you need to go, but I guess not. Maybe I just missed something in one of these rooms. Like out here, I was... I, mean, I guess I didn't really look that much out here earlier. Oh. That's not what I'm supposed to do. I wonder if that would have killed me if I wasn't careful. I mean, it wouldn't really kill you when you're alive. Oh, there's a stairway over there. Only just noticed that now, but see? It saved this guy's headshot. It saved the position of that really weird enemy I killed earlier. See, it saves all the enemy's positions, which makes me think that they're going to play some role later. Why the fuck was there a scary noise right now? Is it because I discovered there's a harpoon on the ship? Is that why something's gonna happen? Because music just kicked in for no real good reason. There's another dead guy. I better go check him out. Good. Got a headshot on him. Anyways, I just noticed this is probably the right way. There's a stairway right here. Headshots. How do they work? Alright. Nothing else really to comment on here. I guess we'll see if this guy has any ammo on him. Yep. Pistol ammo. That's why he had a gun. Something was banging and clinging over there. It looks like there's a few new doors to go investigate, so yeah. So what is behind this door? Let's find out if that's locked. Oh, it's actually open. Sure is dark in here. Be a shame if something were to come. And it... 
I was kind of expecting something else other than you guys. Ah, uh, well, guess I'll take what I can get. There's your handy dandy pistol ammo. And a med pack. I'm going to save in case I end up needing it more. The music in here is kind of creepy though. The meow, meow sound. So this is for a med pack. Very big doors for that. There's a few other things around. Better watch out for that swinging shit that probably will hurt and kill me. It's probably the right way, so I'm gonna go check out two other ways that I think are wrong. I forgot you can keep your camera on, like you'll classify on if you do it like this. You can even shoot defaultly, but not aim and shoot. Alright, I'm going over that other door. The creepy music started up again. So I guess I'm going this way. Creepy music's always a good sign. There's an electric box I can shoot, but let me first make sure nothing in this building room is going to come alive. Yeah, he's good. He's clean. Nothing. Did I just feel the insides of his spaghetti guts? Cool. No heads where I come from. Oh, that was a health pack. Alright, well I've wasted a health pack. Hey, Pip. We're all hearing something. Gotta put everything out of its misery. Get all the headshots in the world. Pistol ammo. So why the hell not? Track with this. Nothing. Nothing for me. What if there's enemies on the top bunkers? Just thankfully they weren't, because those would be hard to get headshots on, but yeah. Lansing? Oh, man. Died on the toilet like a true American. At least I found the code. Hey, there's that guy step apart. Well, so they run fucking fast in this game. Just a, just a common I have. Oh, what's on your body? Some pistol ammo, cool, cool. I mean, did you guys see how fast the guy was running at us? I can tell those guys were kind of surprising. Oh, their bodies disappear. The enemies that we just killed, so their bodies disappear, but not these guys. Shoot his head off, just put him out of his misery. That's not a door. This is a door, though. The damn thing's stuck. It's a stuck door. We also got the codes of something or another. So that's good. Anything on you? Damn. Cool, cool. I thought that was a power box. Alright, back out we go. Oh, here we go. Do you want to save? Of course I want to fucking save. No, no, I don't feel like saving right now. You no, know me, I'm going to be a true... <laughs> Suddenly the game is lagging really badly. Why is the game suddenly lagging? I got headshots on everyone to avoid this from happening! Ah, oh, you're dead! This is why I saved med packs, though. Let me check their bodies. Pistol ammo, so I need to collect from their bodies before they disappear. Need 
This is getting pretty intense though. Oh, no, not like this. Silly. Get back up. I just need to check his body. The pistol ammo, see? Worth it. Gotta uh, watch out because the game is suddenly lagging. Oh, what the fuck? Where just happened? It hurled me off the cliffside. Okay. Working my way this way. Oh, now, wow, wow. The ship's uh, twisting and turning. is really starting to move me back and forth on the ship. Let me get the med pack out here. I was getting headshots on all the enemies to prevent this very thing from happening. I let the game know. A health pack. I was gonna say, I was purposely. Oh, okay, I guess it wasn't the guy I killed before. I guess it's just new enemies. Knew it! No, I don't actually need that med pack now, though. I'm gonna continue my quest for headshine everything, because this is my headshot quest. It is my proof that I am a headhunter. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so uh, let's get back on out then. Interaction, there's the door. Back to lagging, hopefully not. For some reason it's lagging really badly here, and I don't 100% sure know why. I, mean, I see this guy coming at me, but I thought there was someone behind me. Because of the lag, I'm having a hard time getting headshots. Pistol ammo. Let me check this door, because I didn't check it before. What are you? Something. Uh, there's a gun in here. That's good. Yep, knew it. I fuck. Okay, alligator. Nothing found. How about this guy? Life, that's good. Fire extinguishers. Ammo for the AK. How do I switch guns? Number keys? Yep, this is I expected, number keys. Now let's read this note I found. All soldiers are to be extremely cautious of exchanging gunfire rooms contain fire extinguishers. These devices contain highly compressed gas which will cause explosions. You'll be held responsible for any damage you cause in the ship or to your comrades. Oh boy. I thought there was like one more button. Oh, never mind. That's the enemy I killed, right? And those enemies' bodies disappear. Let's see. To this door. Uh, uh, uh. Fucking lag makes it harder to do things. I don't even really know why it's lagging in these sections, really. Interact this, but anyways, though, ammo for the AK. Take it. Make sure nothing's sneaking up on me, etc., etc. This thing was hit. Be careful for electrocution. Uh, now this door. Damn thing's locked from the other side. That's how it works sometimes. Let's work our way back out here. Ow. This all is timed, I understand that. Actually, is this the beginning of the game? Also, I'm almost dead, holy hell. Let me time this just right. Right, timing this right. Yeah, this is the beginning of the game. How the hell did I miss that?
Or at least it's an area that looks... That door was locked earlier. <laughs> at least there's something maybe I can do better. There was a guy with an AK. On the right side, I saved recently. 